Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sam Fox channel. Today we're building the real great the tall geese EW. And if you watch my unboxing video, uh, you should know that I bought this from Hong Kong. And you know, uh, I know it's very late. Okay, stop roasting me in the comments. It is very late. I know, but uh, you know, I was waiting for the shipment, and that's why it's late. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, let's start talking. Uh, so at the side, we usually we as usual we have the MS Advanced joint and uh, overall finish, and other side we got some action as well. And when we open it, so we got uh, one packages, two packages, three packages, uh, four, five, and uh, at the bottom we got a instruction book and this ridiculously useless sub menu <laughs> uh, I was thinking about how to call it and uh, you know we just quickly flick through it seems like this will be a pretty quick LG build because I saw the prototype on the internet it's not really that complicated uh, it should be done quick this one should be quicker than the Saku one wow the Saku one the pipe oh gosh that was a terrible memory and uh, we got some marking here at the back and we got some color guide and for the pilot figure as well all right so it took me a while to open up all the run uh, to open all, all the bags and took out the runners so we got a b frame which is the ms advanced joint this time uh is don't really have too much joints in here uh i assume they improved the joints so that's why they give us less uh complicated joints then we got the a runner some waist part, some uh, some joints on the hand, and some uh, outside armor as well. And we got some yellow part for the inner sh uh, inner shoulder, and probably the uh, lower arm as well. Then we got the E1 runner, which is for the outside armor as well, and nothing really special. C1 iconic shield, and we got some thrusters. And we got the uh, torso part as well. And we also got a vigor of the pilot. D1 runner, completely yellow. Uh, th I believe this is the inner shield. This is the uh, shoulder part. And this will be the thrust. Uh, this will be not the thrusters, uh, the torso part as well. Then we got a lonely, lonely X2 runner. Uh, red, uh, I think it's for the, I think it's for the head. E2 runner. Uh, completely the same like E1, it's just some outside armor parts. Then we got the G2 runner. The G2 runner is the inner frame of the mobile suit, plus some there's some thrusters piece on it. Then the G1 runner, uh, we got some feet, we got some uh, other inner joints as well. And we also got a F runner, which is for uh, the hand option, the gun, and I believe is the um, the shoulder joint and the hand joint as well. Well, anyways, I'm really excited about building this gunpla, and I will see you at the review.
Welcome back to the review of the RG Torquies EW. So this is the finishing of the whole uh, gumper. Uh, I put it on a stand so I can easily show you all the movements. But I must say, I'm really surprised on uh, how the finish is. Because first, Bandai finally give up about their weak uh, MS frame and actually give us less... Uh, we, you need to kind of snap all the frame together by parts is not like uh it's not like molded for you you have to do it yourself but i like the idea first it's more it, it takes more challenge to uh it actually stabilize the uh, ms joints and it's not sloppy or you know it's not going to be filling out very easy and uh one thing i must say though they now this RG doesn't have any problems like the old RGs like couldn't stand on its own or couldn't uh, couldn't bend the bend the waist because the waist is gonna pop out. Uh, I can show you this suit can literally stand on its own without the stand like pretty stabilized. Look, it's, I, I it's very stabilized on standing it. I actually like it. If you move around, it's still it's still stabilized, and I really like that. Idea. I think Bandai actually did solve their own problem about the LG. I'm happy about that because they finally realized their problem. As usual, let's start with the head this time because uh, the frame itself you have to put it part by part so they kind of uh, throw away the part about um, the movable head. So this time the head wasn't really movable, it couldn't really move up and down but it's doing fine moving around 360 and you know this the head design kind of reminded me of a like really Asian uh, knight and you know it looks kind of cool I really like this helmet and by the way the blue part here on the head is not a clear piece it's by a sticker which is kind of kind of a a little weird so why, why not just give us a blue clear piece and by the way if you rip off the helmet you will see a uh, Leo face in it, but I'm not gonna rip it off. You can buy one and go check it out. Next, we're gonna talk about the arm. The arm, the shoulder piece is move can be moving for about uh, 45 degrees individually. The hand, the hand, the hand can bend up in a pretty good angle. As you can see, it's bending up to a pretty good angle. It's bent all the way back to the shoulder, which is a standard RG things. And this time, uh, actually, something good about the hand. So usually, when we're doing the um, all algae's if you twist around the arms if you twist around the arm uh, I will eventually fell off but this time Bandai actually do do nice uh, did a nice job about it they have a special joint in it which uh, if you have to turn at a, a specific point uh, and then you have to use the force to pull it out so it actually prevented the arms to be falling off. This time, the design have a specialized joint in it. I really like the idea. Uh, they actually care. They actually figure out a way that could uh, stabilize the arm without falling it off. Uh, really nice design. The waist could move around about uh, about forty five degrees. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, and uh, it could go to and it could go to side about. Uh, 30 degrees as well and it does have a uh, open hatch here at the center you can you just simply pull down this middle piece and then you clip it back again it's really easy to open and if you build the RG unicorn before you know there's a waist joint that uh, prevented for a uh, waist dropped right so um, so there's a little spot here Oop. there's a little spot here that you can flip it up if you unattached unattached if you deattached it it gives you a expansion of the waist movement. Uh, it's not really too much, but damn, there's a lot of movement. Like it can bend all the way back like this. This is actually a pretty bad, good bending angle. And if you don't want this option, you can just simply push it back and clip it in, and the waist won't move. Well, the waist won't be uh, being sloppy. Uh, that is actually a pretty good design. All right, so we are done about the upper body. The lower body, I actually have something need to command. Uh, so if you pull up the waist, the thruster down here will came out as well. I'm not exactly sure why you need that because that part seems one it seems pretty weird to. I don't think you're gonna use it in a like a in in a battle, right? That that part's not gonna be used. So you can simply just push it back 
and then it can put and it can put back to position. Uh, you know the legs now couldn't really move. Why? Because it's, because uh, it's attached to the side armor. If you if you rip off the side armor joint, then you can uh, actually start making the uh, the way the side skirt armor can move around very freely once you detach it. It's very good movement and. So let's start with the joint. So uh, let's start with the legs. The legs itself could bend about, uh, could bend this far. Uh, but I have one thing that need to be complained. Um, so the joint, I'm I'm really happy about it. But I don't really get. It. But this piece here, this alone piece on the knee, uh, it it looks kind of weird <laughs> for me. Uh, why would why would the only thing that bend out would be like this? And it have a, it have a a. It can kick to the front about 45 degrees. Uh, sorry, zoom out for you a bit to see it. it. Kick to the front for about 45 degrees. Kick to the back about 30 degrees. But you know that's an LG, so not gonna be. But one thing I'm surprised is, is that these tall geese have a really good uh, bending up angle. So it could just give me a second. It could achieve. It could achieve straight line on the mobile suit. That's very impressive. I actually like. I actually think that is pretty uh, impressive for a small scale mobile suit that can go that far with the uh, legs movement. So the feet uh, keep the uh, like this classic algae. Uh, the front of the tip can be slightly moving, so it could bend down a bit. And you know, during the joint is locked into the frame, so uh, the feet couldn't really move too much. Uh, I, but I think. Uh, that's pretty good because one, it can prevent us from not making back the pose and uh, you know, uh, never get back to the standing pose. Uh, I actually think that uh, take out the f um, very movable feet and give us a solid, uh, not very movable feet is actually being a good job on making the compound stand and actually is can be uh, posing around without uh, afraid of uh, the, the standing pose will be. Uh, like kind of rip off and couldn't really stand. I actually that's, think that's a good design. And also, I forgot to talk about one thing at the arm. So the arm actually has something special. If you pull out slightly, it can move to the front and it can it can move it can move front to back, front and back very easily. And you can just clip it back and it won't be so movable. It actually a, a, is a pretty good design. I really like it. All right, let's talk about this backpack. The EW version and the normal TV version. I think the most different thing is about the backpack. Uh, the backpack is basically the same shape, but the EW version is just white and the, the TV version is supposed to be black. And anyway, that's not the point because you know that's two completely different things. So the the thruster here is actually a separate joint, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, like backpack problem anymore. Yay! We don't have to worry about that anymore. And uh, you know it's an individual piece, so you can move around move around pretty easily. And it does have a it does have a good thing. Uh, sorry, my camera wasn't focusing for the backpack that give does give you a opening option so you just all you have to do is just you move around it you just open it like this and then you kind of put slide down slide down pull it out slide down and open it like this as you can see the backpack uh, the thrusters can be fully extended like this. I actually think this is pretty fun, but uh, be careful. Uh, the inner the inner thruster here is uh, the the materials is very soft. If you use too much force to pull it out, you might broke it. So please be careful about it. But you know, uh, it's it's actually a pretty fun thing. Yeah, it's without a without a actual um, like you know without those. Uh, old RG frames and still can be doing that by part by part like the first is opening out part by part without that old RG frames I actually think this is a pretty good um, improvement and by the way the waist down here have a really good uh, thruster open is the back waist thruster is pretty good 
I really like it. Uh, basically, the whole mobile suit is just thrusters, thrusters, and more thrusters. All right, so let's talk about the accessories. So we got, so we got the shield and the gun is both attached on the gunpla by a, uh, you know, their sub arms and. In the shield, there's two beam sabers that you can pull it out and you can put on the beam saber effect. The beam saber effect have two options. You can either have this uh, unpainted white version or you can even put on the signature uh, ROG's uh, regular beam saber effect parts. And we do have a really small, uh, really small figure. Uh, you cannot see it, it's all white. And um, yeah, have fun of repainting it. <laughs> I'm not gonna paint it. And uh, we do have a pair of open hands, which you can put on the gunplay itself to make some poses. Then we got a pair of, um, no, not a pair, sorry. Then we got this individual beam saber, beam saber holding hand on here. And we got a, we got a, this time, uh, Bang that actually special. They give us a left, hand that can hold weapons and hold the shield and also the last one we got is a is a, a doba gun holding hand oh i dropped it uh anyway i'll pick it up later and um as i just said the shield have a handle that you can flip it out and you can put it on on the uh gunpla and also come along with two fist hand that i currently put it on now the doba gun can be extended can be extend and can be extend or either put it back, can be extend or pull it back. And the back, the back uh, cap, the back energy cap can be pulled out as well, which is a pretty good feature, but I don't know why, why would you pull it, pull it out? Uh, that's just a, but that's just an extra feature that the Torgis have, uh, which is pretty good though. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly here to wrap it up. I would just say, uh, this is a very good RG project. They. They took away those uh, really soft frame and replaced it with some good quality frame, and it actually could be it actually is a very good job on doing it. It stabilized the gunpla, and it actually, for the first time, LG is not like it's not like uh, like what people said is about only can be display, but couldn't play with it. This time you can play with it and display it at the same time. I really like the new frame design. I think they should. I think Bandai should stick with it and then um, make all the later LG release all become like that. Like we have to assemble the frame by ourselves. But uh, it might be a little more, it might take longer time for you to build a LG. But that, but if I can use longer time to kind of trade a stabilized model, I'm happy with that. Really good new design. I really like it. But personally, I think they should probably give us more marking because first the mobile suit itself uh, is because it's mainly white and we couldn't really see the color separation. You know, those really signature, uh, really small color separation detail on RG. We couldn't really see it because the whole mobile suit is basically white. And if you have, if you want me to say the only great part that I can see is the cockpit here. Other than that, I couldn't really see others. Uh, there are the color separation, but it's just not very, uh, it's not very clear about it. But I think that if the details on the color separation not not very much, and also it's not giving too much panel lighting detail as well. So they should probably give us uh, more stickers to um, kind of making the gunpla look filled instead of kind of empty it looks kind of empty now it's it's all kind of bland now so if you have more marking uh you can put it on and kind of make it look better that's my op that's my opinion and overall i really like this rg recommend you to buy it and bandai please stick with this design please stick with it because it's, it's doing a very good job please don't go back to the old frames uh uh, honestly, after I built this uh, gunpla, I actually couldn't like I couldn't open my old algae's and start building it because I think this algae frame is just too perfect. I couldn't go back to the old things. It's just uh, but anyway, that's a very good design. I liking it. And this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you next time in another review. Oh, remember follow my Instagram. And goodbye.